On July 14th, just two days before their scheduled liftoff, the crew of Apollo 11 sat down for their final press appearance. Armstrong spoke first on behalf of the entire crew. After a decade of planning and hard work, we're willing and ready to attempt to achieve our national goal. This is possible because very many Americans across the nation have dedicated themselves to quality craftsmanship and ingenuity. We're dependent, too, on the successes of the previous flights, the unmanned flights and the manned flights, Apollos 7, 8, 9, and 10, whose crews have done a magnificent job of preparing the way for us. I'm sure this American ingenuity and American craftsmanship has given us the best equipment that can be made available. And we're very happy to be ready to fly. This is Apollo Saturn Launch Control. T minus two hours, 40 minutes, 40 seconds, and counting. At this time, the prime crew for Apollo 11 has boarded the high speed elevator from inside the A level in the mobile launcher, which is the second level inside the launcher. This is a high-speed elevator, 600 feet per minute, which will carry them to the 320-foot level, uh, the spacecraft level. Uh, shortly, uh, we'll expect astronauts Neil Armstrong and Michael Collins to come across swing arm 9, the Apollo access arm, and proceed to the white room and uh, stand by to board the spacecraft. The third member of the crew, astronaut Edwin Aldrin, who will be the last one to board the spacecraft. This is Apollo Saturn Launch Control, T-minus one hour, 20 minutes, 55 seconds and counting. All still go with the countdown for Apollo 11 at this time. At this point in the countdown, spacecraft commander Neil Armstrong uh, once again appears to be the busiest worker in the spacecraft as he's performing a series of alignment checks associated with the guidance system in the spacecraft. He's working these checks with the spacecraft test conductor as the spacecraft test conductor reads out the various procedures and Armstrong responds to them. The astronauts aboard the spacecraft also were informed by the spacecraft conductor a short while ago that the launch vehicle is go at this time. The hydrogen problem uh, that we did encounter earlier has been solved. That's real good news, said Armstrong, and then he went back to work shortly thereafter. We're now coming up on the one hour, 20 minute mark in the countdown. This is Kennedy Launch Control. T minus one minute, 35 seconds on the Apollo mission, the flight to land of the first men on the moon. All indications are coming in uh, to the control center at this time indicate we are go. One minute, 25 seconds and counting. 30 seconds and counting. Astronauts report it feels good. T minus 25 seconds. 20 seconds and counting. T minus 15 seconds. Guidance is internal. 12, 11, 10, 9. Ignition sequence starts. 6. Five, four, three, two, one, zero. All engine running. Liftoff. We have a liftoff. 32 minutes past the hour. Liftoff on Apollo 11. Roger, we got a roll program. Power clear. Roger, roll.
set eight miles downrange, 12 miles high. Velocity, 4,000 feet per second. Stand by for mode one, Charlie. Mark, mode one, Charlie. One, Charlie. Cliff Charlesworth taking a staging status. This is Houston, you are go for staging. Inboard cutoff. Inboard engines out. I'm inboard cutoff. Downrange 35 miles, 30 miles high. Standing by for the outboard engine cut down now. Station. And ignition. Shut down right on time. 1.4 by 103.6. Roger, shut down and we copy 101.4 by 103.6. Apollo 11, this is Houston. You are confirmed to go for orbit. Roger. 